It was a tense few hours this morning for the majority of students at Ithaca High School. That's right. Shortly after the day started, police put the school on lockdown after they found the packaging for a BB gun inside a boy's bathroom at Culp Auditorium. WENY's Leanne Rosa has been following the story all afternoon and joins us live in the newsroom with more. Leanne? John and Renata, all is quiet now at Ithaca High School, but this morning was full of confusion. Students and faculty were on lockdown for over three hours this morning while Ithaca police searched the entire high school. Not only were confused students locked in their classrooms, but some were locked outside as well. Senior Melanie Peacock waited in the parking lot while her friends texted her updates from inside. I think people are just like lost because they don't know, they're not getting any word. Like my friends don't really know what's going on. They're just like, oh, we heard this and like they're switching everyone's bags, but that's it. That's all I've heard. At 1230 after the whole building, including every locker and bag, was searched, an announcement was made over the loudspeaker notifying everyone that no BB gun was found and the school was reopened. As people emerged from the building, a few seniors gave us their reaction to their unusual first day of school. Before, like, we found it was a BB gun, we had to, like, hide under the, like, hide behind the tables and stuff, so, I mean. We've it, done drills Yeah, and it's stuff, been like this. This has happened before, so yeah. it's not really a big deal. We were just getting comfortable in our new classroom. It's like the first day of school. I didn't really expect this was going to happen. It was the last thing I was going to expect. Yeah, a lot of things were going through my mind. Uh, I was scared at first, but, you know, uh, Mr. Powers, he let us know that nothing was going on, you know, so we were all, we were all all right. It was nice. Ithaca police will remain on the high school's campus next week to continue monitoring the situation. Reporting in the studio, Leanne DeRosa, WENY News.